Hey guys, welcome back to the Bald Shredder channel. Today, I'm going to be discussing one of my all-time favorite guitar players, Steve Steeman Clark from Def Leppard, and the guitar player that replaced him, Vivian Campbell. I still remember exactly where I was, and I remember the moment that I heard on TV announcing this was January 8th, 1991, announcing that Steve Clark had passed away. To say that that was a sad day is an understatement. Def Leppard, at that time, and still to this day, is my favorite band. And Steve, I mean, he's a huge part of it, as all five guys were. So for him to be gone and not with us anymore and not part of the band and just not here, I mean, I was devastated, as most fans were. Steve's contribution to the band can only be described as magical. He wasn't just a great guitar player. He had an amazing live presence. I was fortunate enough to see him live three times. My very first concert was the Pyromania Tour in 1983. That was incredible to my little mind at the time, and then I saw them twice on the Hysteria Tour. So I saw Steve in concert three times, and I will always cherish those memories. So, great guitar player, awesome to see live in concert, and he just came up with amazing guitar riffs. So the band really had this, like, huge task of replacing him. But how do you replace somebody like Steve Clark? You really can't replace him. You can get somebody to come in and fill his spot and play those guitar parts, but he can never truly be replaced by anybody. I don't care who, who they would have gotten, anybody in the world, any guitar player at that time, there's nobody that could fill his spot completely. Yeah, you can get other guitar players that can play Steve's parts note for note. I could play Steve's parts note for note, but would they sound the same? No, there's gonna be something missing. What's gonna be missing? What's missing when Vivian Campbell plays the parts? It's just there's some magic in Steve's playing that nobody can exactly recreate. And this is not a criticism on Vivian. Like I said, nobody can recreate that magic with their fingers. It's trying to copy another guitar player and do what they did exactly in a lot of cases, in most cases, it's just not possible. So Vivian's a great player, he's amazing, he's done an amazing job, he's been in the band all these years, but I don't think there's any Def Leppard fan anywhere in the world that wouldn't want Steve to still be in the band, of course. And I guess that Vivian was not the only one that they considered. I remember reading back in the day, around the time that that happened, that they had actually met with ex-Whitesnake guitar player John Sykes. And when I read that, I went, Wow, that seems like a total mismatch because he's kind of used to being like the star and he might want to be the star and you know, I don't, obviously I don't know John Sykes personally, but just he seems like the guy that would be want to want to be making decisions and in charge and I don't think the other guys in the band would go for that. I haven't read hardly anything about what happened when they met with John Sykes other than them saying like, yeah, he came down to the studio one time but how that went, I don't know. They haven't really said. But just guessing, I have a feeling that like, they figured out pretty quickly that it wasn't gonna work with John Sykes. And another guy that they considered and met with and talked to was Iron Maiden guitar player Adrian Smith. I have to say, I'm extremely intrigued by that idea. I can't help but wonder like, how would the band be different or how would they have been different over the past 30 years or so if Adrian had joined the band and not Vivian Campbell. I almost kind of think like I would have preferred that. But Adrian's a really good guitar player, very melodic, very fluid, great singer, good songwriter. So yeah, I mean, I do wish I kind of had like a crystal ball and I could see this sort of alternate universe and see what would the band have been like and what would they be like now if Adrian had been in the band. I do think though that if they had chosen Adrian and if he had joined the band, I don't think he'd still be in the band this day. I think he would have left Def Leppard after a while and gone back to Iron Maiden just like he did. All right, so getting back to my original point, guys, you know, Steve Clark. Just, there's just something magical about his playing. He's not the most technical, fast, shredding guitar player. Phil is more on that side. Phil is the, you know, flying fingers, fancy, more flashy. Steve was more laid back, more melodic. 
Yet still, I love Steve's solos. And even though he's not one of the faster, flashier players that I usually like and usually enjoy, he's still one of my favorite players because there's just something about the way that he played. And as great as Vivian is, it's just not the same as what Steve did. And it never will be, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be. Vivian does his thing. He's great, very good player. He's been in, you know, several bands over the years. Dio, Whitesnake, uh, Shadow King, River Dogs, solo album. And now he's also got his other band, Last In Line. So very good guitar player, very good singer, songwriter, very accomplished. But unfortunately, you know, the magic of Steve Clark is just never gonna be in the band again. All right guys, so let me know what you think in the comments. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying when I talk about the magic of Steve Clark? It's really hard to explain, but if you know, you know, it was there. And what do you think about Vivian Campbell and the stuff that he's done in Def Leppard? And would you have been interested to have Adrian Smith join the band instead of Vivian Campbell? Or maybe John Sykes? I don't know. Definitely let me know what you think. And guys, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.